the disc jockey Dave Lee Travis, the actor Bill Roach and the children's television presenter Rolf Harris have all been in court today in three separate sex abuse cases which have cast a further shadow over a generation of entertainers. All three have denied a series of serious sexual offence allegations. It is yet more unwelcome attention on that side of 1970s popular culture, already tarnished by the Jimmy Savile revelations, as Katie Razzle now reports. Before Jimmy Savile's crimes came to light, many looked back fondly on what they considered the heyday of light entertainment. And welcome to the very last Top of the Pops. We've now heard of a darker side, and today allegations against other famous faces were played out in court. An entertainer, a Coronation Street actor and a DJ. All three were major celebrities back in the day. Decades on, their alleged crimes have put Rolf Harris, Dave Lee Travis and William Roach in the dock in entirely separate court cases. William Roach is being tried at Preston Crown Court. He denies raping a 15-year-old girl twice in 1967 and five indecent assaults on four other girls, the youngest 11 or 12, between 1965 and 1971. He worked in a hotel kitchen. If anyone asked me, of course I'd tell. He's played Ken Barlow in Coronation Street since the show first aired in 1960. Today, the prosecution said his fame enabled him to prey upon his victims who didn't speak out partly because of it. Are they all manipulative fantasists riding on the post Savile coattails, the Crown asked the jury, or have they now got the confidence to come forward? The alleged rape victim contacted the police after telling her son what happened more than 40 years earlier, only after the Savile scandal. In what looks like an almost unbelievable coincidence of timing, as the case opened against Bill Roach in Preston, two celebrities of yesteryear were appearing here at London's Southwark Crown Court, facing charges of sexual offences. Hello, another edition of Top of the Pops. At the trial of Dave Lee Travis, the court was shown this footage. He's supposed to be trying to put his hand in one of these teenagers' knickers as he's broadcasting Top of the Pops. He's also accused of 13 other assaults, including in BBC Studios and in his dressing room at a theatre where he was appearing in pantomime. A love of the band, Shawadi Wadi brought his youngest alleged victim into contact with DLT at a gig. She was 15 and says she was too ashamed to tell anyone what he'd done. He says it never happened. The Jimmy Savile revelations empowered some of his 11 victims to come forward, the jury heard. The former Radio 1 DJ is an opportunist sex offender, say the prosecution. He says the women have made it all up and are motivated by greed for compensation or a desire for attention. The other aged entertainer at Southwark Crown Court today was Rolf Harris. He pleaded not guilty to 12 indecent assaults against four young girls dating back several decades. His trial will begin in April. These men's cases are separate, with different victims involved in each. They are on trial, but so too perhaps is the past, the era in which their celebrity was at its height. And tonight, the comedian Freddie Starr has been arrested for the third time over alleged sexual offences. He was told he faced a further claim when he attended a police station in Warwickshire. Starr was first arrested in November 2012 by detectives from Operation Yew Tree. He strenuously denied the allegations against him and was released on bail until next month.